Prostate cancer is a leading cancer among men worldwide, and observers say there is a need for more awareness about the disease in sub-Saharan Africa. Professor Peter Anyang Nyongo is governor of Kisumu, Kenya, and a prostate cancer survivor. He discusses how his experience fighting cancer while Kenya's Minister of Medical Services was a critical moment in shedding a light on the need to address and improve cancer care in his country. I think what it reminded me of is the need for people to know about cancer, to be aware that uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a problem for everybody. And that means that uh, for prostate cancer in particular, that men over 45 should go for radio, regular checkup so that they know every year what their PSA status is. Because the earlier it is discovered, the better it is for success of treatment. At the beginning, even people in government were extremely ignorant about the menace of cancer. And I think there was a denial, really, uh, on the part of government. But I think after that, in that I spoke out very, very openly. And then another colleague of mine who was in the, in the Ministry of Health, there were two ministers of health, Ministry of Medical Services, which I headed, and then Ministry of Public Health, which my colleague Beth Mugo headed. As fate would have it, after I'd went, gone through my experience, she too had breast cancer and started speaking out about it. Then government started talk, taking cancer issue much more seriously. And, and I think since then there have been many more institutions, uh, both in the private and the public domain, uh, which have improved their capacity and capability to deal with cancer in general, and prostate cancer in particular. But still, uh, the capacity and capability is not enough. We still need more trained oncologists, and not just oncologists in general, but oncologists in specific areas of cancer. Oncologists uh, who know something about breast cancer, neck cancer, throat cancer, prostate cancer, and so on. If you come to this country, for example, and you go to a cancer center like this one, Dana Feber, you'll find that almost every part of the body that can be attacked with cancer has some specialist who knows something about it and who can help you uh, when you are sick. I mean, I was diagnosed with prostate cancer. I found out that within Kenya I wouldn't get any kind of help, so. I sought help elsewhere and finally I got treated in California, University of California, San Francisco. And that raised uh, an ethical crisis for me. There's, I can go and get treated in California. What about the ordinary Kenyans who can't afford it, you see? And that's why we started the Africa Cancer Foundation, to struggle for building the capacity and capability to deal with cancer in Kenya. It's a long journey and it's, it's not an easy journey because along the way you have problems of resources, you have problems of political will as you are talking about it. But fortunately now the political will is there. What is important is the resources uh, for both training people who can deal with cancer as professionals but also building the institutions themselves. Dorothy Nyong'o is Managing Trustee of the Africa Cancer Foundation and First Lady of Kisumu, Kenya. She elaborates on the work of the foundation dedicated to promote the prevention of cancer and provide support to cancer patients in Kenya and beyond. There are lots of myths around cancer uh, and in some communities it's, it's a little worse than others. And we also find that uh, there are barriers such as women not seeking health care on their own they have to get permission from their husbands and so on. So we just talk to the people gently and we explain what it is. And uh, we find that they are responsive, they listen, and eventually they understand that uh, cancer is not a death sentence. It should be detected early, and if so, there is hope. We've been screening now for the last uh, eight or so years. Uh, we've screened over 22,000 people, and we find that the incidence of cancers are, is quite high. We refer them uh, for further uh, diagnosis and treatment, uh, and we try and handhold them so that uh, they go through the process. It's not an easy journey, uh, but we have saved some lives. The message is go for regular checkups. If you can do this on your birthday, Give yourself that treat. 
because if your cancer is detected early, you have lots of hope. There's chances that you will be healed and it will also not cost so much. So we really want to just encourage that and for people to uh, be aware of what they should be eating and lifestyle issues become more and uh, more involved in physical activities and so on.